Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you a book that I purchased and this is where I purchased it from. I'll get the little tag up a little closer. Jill and Sarah's, it's a, oh, we'll just cover that part up, the Etsy show here. Okay, I'll leave that link down below too. And it came with this cute little card. <laughs> so I'll show you that, which is really cute. And then a little um, magazine of their other books that they have in here. They have a couple of Joanna Basford colors books too. And so it's a little like catalog, which is kind of cool. <laughs> It's an Etsy store, so I mean, you, you go in and see all the little books that they have in there, which is kind of neat. So of course, I got this one here that I fell in love with. Again, um, Connie <laughs> channel, which I'll leave a link down below, uh, enabled me for this one. <laughs> I'm gonna pull a little sleeve off here. Um, not sure what that says, but it's the sleeve that comes on the book, so you can see the whole cover. And it has a dust jacket on it, so it comes off. And then you have the same kind of cover on the front, but it is uncolored. The jacket here has coloring on it, which is kind of cool. All right, and we're gonna get in here and look at this. I'm going to open it from the center first and pull back the spine from the center of the book so I don't get that crease going at the beginning of the book. <laughs> okay, so we will start here. Title of the book. <laughs> I think it's got some writing in there. It's a Ken Madu. Uh, yeah, can't even read that coloring book. I will leave a link down below if it has a title. Okay, all this wording here. And there we have his name again, Matsuda, Ken Matsuda, not sure how to pronounce it. In the beginning of the book, you will have these beautiful illustrated pictures here. So you can turn back to these for inspiration and or, because the book pages are very uh, detailed, you can find out what some of these things are supposed to look like. Like there's one page in particular, you can uh, barely tell that there's a flower here or a butterfly. It looks like it's part of something else. But when you come back to look at these, you can actually see it's a flower. I like that page, it's so pretty. Anyway, so they have the pages here that he's done in his style. This is another page trying to figure out what this was. <laughs> birdies and a little budgy. And then he's kind of giving you a little idea of how you can go ahead and er, color, watercolor them. This is water coloring here, water brush, and I think this is a pen. But he kind of gives you a step by step how he did this page, which is cool. Another way of doing an eye and such. There you go. <laughs> I'm not sure if he tells you the colors, but he also has pencils here to show you. And then we get into the coloring section of the book. This is even gorgeous. Okay, so the pages are on both sides. So we have a Azawatl, whatever you want to call this little guy over here, little frog little tadpole. I love that page. <laughs> Funny thing is that's not going to be the first one I do in this book. And again, I don't know the name of all the animals. We have a snake and a lizard. <laughs> a like chameleon type little dude over here and he's got little shards coming out. We have a frog in this area and a fish here. That's really pretty too. A uh, lizard here and a <laughs> a 
aquatic animal on that side. <laughs> we have a turtle, a squirrel, and a bird. I like how they have a bonsai tree growing out of this tortoise shell. That's cool. We have a very happy pig over here and a happy elephant. They just look like they're smiling. Look at that face. <laughs> here we have like an ape or a monkey. I'm not quite sure with a beautiful tree going over at the top. We have a fox here laying in a field of flowers. The paper in this book is uh, thicker but not too thick. I don't know about water on this yet but because I haven't colored it. <laughs> a lot of people have. Here we got a bunny. This is um, this little guy. So you could color in the same way. A hippo here. It's got his little uh, aquatic friend here. It's got a short name, or short nose, sorry, not sure which one it is. <laughs> then we have some kitties. This kitty has got this thing here. We got a bird here. And the little kitty face. This kitty is stretched out and has flowers and a bee and a couple of cricket thingies around him. Got a ram, a koala, uh, it's either a fox or a wolf. This is a fennec fox. I love that picture too with all the flowers going around him. The beluga whale. This is the one I liked in the front. You get the plant it, plant it here and then the flowers coming out. And we've got the penguins. This is goldfish. And then we have two pages. I believe they're like this. Yeah. These are koi fish. And then this one is the snail. It can go that way, this way, that way. <laughs> It'll just look cute colored up. Then we have, I didn't miss a page. The ladybug and the butterfly. Let's try to get this back in frame here. The bee. I believe Sammy did this. It was gorgeous. Here we have the little clownfish with the uh, hermit crab. A crab here. A turtle here. A little turtle here. And then a little like puffer fish down here. This is the picture. If you look at that, it's line art. I mean, you've got some clouds going here and they swirl around and then you're kind of lost. And that's what I meant by going to the front of the book and finding out that this portion here is all the animal that's going through. Squid, possibly. This bird is beautiful too. Got a lot of beautiful birds in here. Turn the Turn the page. There we go. This is a bird here with a snake that goes around. It's like a little hummingbird. Hummingbird with all the flowers. And this is the page I'm I'm gonna do first. <laughs> it is a rooster. And I think he is just all that. I'm sorry, but he is cool. <laughs> I'm gonna do a back black background first and then I will color him in with reds and browns and maybe some iridescent colors. Another hummingbird on this side. Here we have like a little parrot or hawk. Berries or peaches. <laughs> Another bird over here. So it's a water animal, a water bird with the, the water fish around here. We have the three birds and then one budgie here. <laughs> the ducks in the mushrooms. So we've got a baby one up here in the big mushroom. Mama, another little baby, and then all the mushrooms going up. This is going to be gorgeous when it's finished. It's a pretty page. And this one. I know the name of that bird, but I can't think of it. And then in the back of the book, if you can read, 
<laughs> or have a translation uh, app, it'll tell you the name of the um, little guys. They also have a little square here. I assume if you have that app on your phone, you can click it and it'll give you information. But you have pictures of every one colored, so if you get lost in the line art, you can find out what's there with the colored part. You can take inspiration or you can try to color it exactly like he did. Wolf. <laughs> oh, a very colorful bee. Pretty, pretty pages. And then the last bit of the book. Not exactly sure what that says. Yeah, there. And there's a little blip here. The cool octopus. And on the back of the book. I don't think that picture's in there. This one's got the beluga, the hippo, the eel type thing, the ducks, the turtles, the fish, the butterflies, the hummingbirds. That's a cool page. Anyway, that's the back of the book. <laughs> and here it is colored in. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed, and like I said, I'm going to be doing that rooster, so look for the next video, and that's the one I'll be coloring. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care, everyone, and like I said, I'll leave the links down below, so if you want to check them out, just open the description box. Okay, take care, everyone. Bye.